Hi everyone! Welcome back to Analytics with Aisha. In today's video, we are going to learn on how to create a dynamic formatting in Power BI. There will be two video parts on this topic. The first part, which will be in this video, we will take a look at dynamic formatting specifically for dynamic metrics. The second part will be posted soon after, so stay tuned. Before we start, don't forget to hit subscribe as there will be more interesting videos from us. Let's get started. Imagine you are creating a dashboard for your management. You have created these dynamic metrics to reduce clutters in your dashboard. But your existing measures only consist of similar type of format which is currency. Suddenly, your management adds a new requirement to add quantity into their selection. But previously, you have selected currency as its format. How do you add quantity which should be in whole number or decimal format into the same measure? Well, I can share with you the solution. In this example, I have uploaded a sample data called product table with all these columns. I've also created a measure table that consists of cost, product count, profit, quantity, and revenue. I've added a metrics table that consists of a list of metrics category as you can see here. Again, if you need help on creating a dynamic matrix, you can click on the link above. Now, to create a dynamic formatting, you will need to click on the value measure. Once you click, you should be able to see this format option. Now, current selection is currency. You will need to click here to see an option called dynamic and click on it. Once you click on dynamic, you will see the formula bar changes. Format here is where you define your measures formatting. Now, if, if you click here, you will see another option called measure. So measure is where you create your calculation before this. In this example, we won't do any changes to this measure. We will only touch format section. How you can read the structure of this dynamic formatting in this example is each part of the string specifies how different types of numbers, positive, negative, and zero should be displayed. If any of these parts are omitted, the formatting of the first part, which is the positive format, will be used for the omitted parts. Now, let us start with understanding the positive format first. In this example, the positive and zero formats are the same. Hence, we will only be explaining on the positive format part. The dollar signs here means that there will be a dollar sign displayed in front of the digits. The hashtag is a placeholder for the digits. It does not display extra zeros. The comma and the zero includes a thousand separator and ensures at least one digit is displayed. The dot and the double zeros ensures two decimal places are displayed. Depending on the number of zeros you put here, that will determine the number of your decimal places. Let's say you want three decimal places, you just need to add an extra zero here. And this is how your positive value will look like. Remember, this is for currency format. If you want to do for whole number or decimal number, you can just omit the dollar sign in front. Let's move on to the negative format. For the negative format, I will be explaining on the first part of the format structure, which is the dollar sign with bracket. For the rest of the structure, they are similar to the positive format that we learned just now. Hence, I will not go into details on them. Now, the dollar sign part is the same like how we understood from the positive format just now. The dollar sign here means that there will be a dollar sign displayed in front of the digits. For the bracket, it shows that the entire digit will be wrapped in parentheses to indicate that it is a negative value. There is another way that you can show a negative value. You can remove the bracket and replace it with a negative sign. For the rest of the parts in the structure, I won't go into details, but we leave them here for your reading. So, this is how your negative numbers will be displayed. Now that we have a basic understanding on how the format for currency works, let us start setting up our dynamic formatting. Let's go back to our Power BI. From the formula bar, ensure you have selected format. Remember how we set up our dynamic metrics last time? Now click on this drop down and go to measure. Select all of this formula, click copy, and go back to format and paste it below the format structure. 
We do this so that we can still refer to how the format structure works. Now, in the format section, you do not need to name it. So let's remove the name. Let's go through the formula. For revenue, cost and profit, they have currency formats. So you can just copy this format and paste it in each of the results. However, for quantity, it falls under whole number. So in this case, you can just paste the same format just now, but you can just remove the dollar sign. Now let's remove this format structure and then click Saved. As you can see, the result now, instead of currency, it shows a whole number. Now let's try to select revenue. As you can see, the format here is currency. Let's go to cost. It is still in currency. And let's go to profit. It is still in currency. And there you have it. A dynamic formatting for your dynamic metrics. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.